What's up, everybody? This is Kenny Cummins here, chilling with Kenny C, right here on TMVCafe.com, bringing you entertainment to your ears. My guest of this interview has been on the show numerous times. Singer, songwriter, a good father, got talented kids, taking care of the kids. He's a host. And you can also say he is an award winner uh, as of a few months ago at the Blueprint Awards. He won Male R&B Artist of the Year. Uh, I'm joined with now the award-winning Rallo Green. White hey, here I... right now. How's it going, man? Hey, it's going good, man. It feels good to to hear an introduction like that. I swear I love your introductions. Uh <laughs> Hey man, you you kind of you kind of inspired me, man, with the hosting you've been doing, you know, entertaining the crowd, keeping the people going. You know, I can't do the dance moves that you do, but I can do everything else. <laughs> so, uh, so as I pointed out, the award-winning Rallo Green a few months ago, Blue Point Awards, you was up for male R&B, and you ended up winning. Um, uh, it's been a few months to look back and reflect on it. How was that evening like for you and ended up receiving that award? Um, it's it's really a, a dream. Um, to be honest with you, like my dad was like very much so um uh, rooting for me and he was just like, you know, hey, you got this good luck. And I've never like really won an award for me being um a, a individual independent artist. You know what I'm saying? I've won awards being a part of choirs, being a part of groups, but never as an independent artist. So um, I still look at it kind of like it was, a, it's a dream. Like uh, the whole night was just magical to me. Everybody's dressed up. Everybody acted like they had some sense. It was very good to see the people that are active in the community and just, you know, just being able to network with people that are literally major pillars in the community. I mean, that was very, it was dope. It was very um, prestigious. And, you know, I, I definitely think that we need more of that in the city. Yeah, getting voted. Um, your fans came through. Your supporters yes. came through that night. Um, it had to feel good. You you in your seat chilling, and then you hear your name. You make your way to that stage and they're receiving that award. Um, oh yeah. You know, winning an award. You know, just I think what a lot of artists and people in the community want is some sort of acknowledgement. It doesn't have to be an award per se. Just say, hey, this guy is here. You mm -hmm. know, that lady is here. A while green, he's really doing some things. He's doing shows in Kentucky, outside of Kentucky. He's hosting shows. Um, I think the last time I saw you was at Berea, Kentucky uh, yeah. uh, for that festival that took place. That was my first time at that particular uh, forum. Um, mm -hmm. the, the, you know, it was raining, little sprinkles here and there, but credit to you being the host extraordinaire that you are. You made it work. Uh, so, man, props to you, man. So, thank you, dude. We gotta talk about this EP. Let's talk. Nostalgia. Let's talk about it, man. Nostalgia. You released the uh, uh, Jody C as the lead single. You got uh, Usher R, Rebel, mm -hmm. Immature. Okay, so obviously the song titles mm -hmm. name after famous R and B acts. Mm -hmm. Um or a song title per se. Uh so and you have said, you know, you look you take pride of the nineties, that the eighties R and B music, that genre, that era, mm -hmm. baby making moot music per se. Uh you've <laughs> been you've been releasing singles for the past couple of years, and now you got a uh a EP. Uh, talk about the whole process of putting together nostalgia. Definitely felt like he's paying homage to the artists that that paved the way, man. For artists, for 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 yourself, man. How did it feel? Um, it it feels good. Um, to be honest with you, before I even get started about the EP, shout yeah. out to Easy to DJ, man. My manager really be 
putting the pressure on us, telling us to do reels and et cetera, which is really how everything kind of came about. Um, as far as the EP, I told him, I said, look, easy. I, I'm trying to make music that's going to make people feel like they are back, you know, in the nineties. I'm, I grew up, I was born in 92. So I grew up in the nineties era for the most part. And to be honest with you, like, it is just my main goal was to have you feeling like you were in your mom's back seat or in the passenger seat riding with your parents on your way to wherever you were. And you're just like, because everything in the 90s, for whatever reason, I'm looking back on it, it just sounds like in my head, everything just slapped. So Joe to see, you know, what I'm saying Joe to see my voice style, the way that I actually sing a lot of the music I write is in a similar fashion of how they do music. Um, shout out to Casey Jojo and Devante Swing, and also I forgot the other brother's name, but Joe to see, you know, they do their thing. You feel me? Um, also, shout out to um, uh, Immature. The reason I called uh, Joe to see Joe to see because the, the harmonies all sounded like Joe to see. Immature sounded, it had a sound to it similar to what Marcus Houston used to do with their group, IMX, Immature, et cetera. And um, I've always had a, a comparison. There were a lot of people have always compared me to, hey, you sound like Marcus Houston. You were put me in the mind of go home, Roger. Like that was a big thing in high school. Like they should be like, go home, Roger. No, but, uh, you know, I just wanted to pay homage to that. Um, then you have Usher R, of course. I mean, you hear the nice and slow on that song. All of these worked together because, I mean, those are some of my favorite artists and the sounds of the beats actually put me in mind of them. So when I wrote, I kind of, wanted to escape what my regular routine of music is and try to dig deeper to, you know, just to try to match. Because I mean, what a lot of writers do is they actually sit and they try to sound, they write a song to be pitched to someone. So in my head, I was like, I'm gonna pitch these out. And I actually was gonna come up with two verses on each song and do everything myself. And easy was just like, don't do any features. Don't worry about more tracks. Cause I was going to do about 10 of them. He was like, Go ahead and drop those four. They can be two minutes apiece because people's attention spans are very small. And <laughs> he said, you know, we can we can make sure that every, all the promotion and everything slaps around it. So basically everything that I had in my head that I was trying to get out on paper and able to do, it just it, it worked out. And I mean, God, you know, God made everything else happen. I, I ain't going to lie. We had an album release party out here at my house. You know what I'm saying? And the venue was dope. Like You can catch that footage on YouTube. Um, that was like really nice. A lot of people came out. It was about 15 to 20 people. Uh, the whole process was rigorous because literally I had about 10 songs on there and we scrapped six of them. So, you know, those will be heard soon enough. Like I got two features with Suge Nasty that was supposed to be in the mix, but Hey, it is what it is. So, I mean, ultimately I can honestly say it was rough, but it is a sigh of relief to see how much the the efforts are paid off. We're reached at uh, twenty one thousand right now on that on that AP since since June 9th. Yeah, and uh, this is a dope project. Like I've always be listening to your music. I've always, in some way, fashion, have your music feature on my jukebox show. Um, yes, and it's you know. I, you know, you definitely represent that that R and B that that you grew up loving. You know, you're nineties baby, so you 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 found yourself in the right decade in that regard. Um, so it's like the boys, the man, the jacket mm -hmm. edge, the one trails. You know, I, of course, I came for the I'm I'm an eighties baby. I I came for Luther. Oh, from, yeah. From, from Big Luther, Luther or Little Luther? Both. <laughs> Big yeah. Luther, you know, Big, yeah, Big Luther, man. Like, either way, that was the essential gentleman. For that yeah. Baby. Essential gentleman. Um, so, you know, Pops are easy. Um, we, we know him as the DJ extraordinaire, but he really, really putting in the work for artists like yourself. Just Marie and many others in this in the music scene. Congrats to him and, and everybody um nominated in the Kentucky Urban Awards. Yes. Uh, so that's that's big. That show's taking place at Louisville later this mm -hmm. year. So uh good luck. August seventeenth or the eighteenth, I think. Uh these one of the two. It's yeah. right around that that time frame. So uh, so yeah, I think you can keep the votes coming. Vote for easy, man. Vote for everybody, man. So, um, so you got this project out already. 
You know, you're doing all sorts of things. You're working on a lot of stuff. Um, so it's for some that you are able to reveal that you can actually tell. Um, what is next for Wallow, man? What what you got cooking next? Aha. So as I told you, we have like six songs that we scrapped and they're not going on an album. They might be released as singles. Um, I have a song that I wrote called Don't Go. And um, I believe that one's going to be, it's going to be the one to shake people up. It's a tearjerker. It's one of those, it's, it's a real R&B song. Like one of the ones where you would see somebody in the video and they're, it's a person right here in white and, and they're watching the whole scene of them arguing and you're like, don't do it. You know, it, it's one of them type of songs, but like, um also on the reciprocal i'm coming up with a few songs that's just kind of like bops for the club you know um i don't have any club bangers don't have anything that's going to kind of put a groove to you you know so trying to step out the box um i'm i'm really a ballad guy but um i got two tracks with suge nasty coming uh they're mid tempo to fast very hard hitting uh you know she's a poet so she goes hard but um as far as like features go, I haven't really been working on features with anybody. So if you're looking to do features, definitely hit me up. I am a vocalist. Um, I sing. I do harmonies. I mix and master as well. Um, me personally, I'm working on about five different songs outside of the six that we've been talking about. Um, and they're not going to drop until at least October. So one of those is going to drop. I'm not putting out another album just yet, but I am going to be doing a lot of the traveling. We're going to A3C um, in Atlanta. We're going to be doing a couple of tours, etc., throughout the East Coast here in October as well. So just a lot going on, man. A couple more. Sh uh, Rhythm and Bourbon is coming in October. Yeah. Oh, Rhythm and Bourbon. Yes, there we yes. go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I think the last one you did was a little over a year ago at Al's Bar. Uh, shout out to Al's Bar. That's definitely one of the the places that really open up to the R and B hip hop scene in Central oh, yeah. Kentucky. So so um, Al's bar is forever in my good graces in that regard. Um so be on the lookout for more music from Wallow, more appearances. Um and you know rhythm and he just announced rhythm and bourbon is coming back. So stay tuned for the date. And info, yes. things like that. You know, enjoy some some R and B from local talent, and you might get some visitors outside of Kentucky. Who knows? But uh, stay tuned for that. Uh, go keep keep the numbers going for nostalgia, uh, EP. Uh, so yeah, and better look out for the for the tracks that didn't make the cut. Um, mm -hmm. for for the. For, for you know for those tracks you know they're coming that, they will that, see the light of day um but that that might be a good album right there it didn't make the cut <laughs> i gave i don't gave him some notes i gave him some suggestions <laughs> write that down here <laughs> <laughs> don't don't forget to go vote, man. Like yeah. I was nominated for uh, R and B Artist of the Year as well as Rookie of the Year for the Kentucky Urban Awards. Um, I am not a rookie, but if they want to put me in that category, I will be a rookie. You know, but yeah. uh, that's something that's definitely big. Uh, that's for the whole state of Kentucky. I seen some people on there from Owensboro. Originally, I'm from Hopkinsville, so to see Western Kentucky on the on the board and on the ballot like that's amazing, man. It's amazing. Yeah, shout out, shout out to the hop. Shout out to the hop. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the Western Kentucky man. Um, <laughs> the Kentucky Urban Entertainment Awards. That's coming up in August uh at Louisville. So get in, I don't know how long the voting is gonna be, but it's the, the ballot's still open. Uh so go get your votes in. Um I wanted to definitely chat with you about Easy. You know, he's been a part of your career. I uh, saw you um at the early stages to see you grow, evolve as an artist, building your own brand. Um, what's it like to have someone like Easy, you know, just being there, giving you some input, advice, um, and just helping you out, having seen you flourish, you know what I'm saying? Um, How does it feel to have Easy? It feels different. You know, um, I've always managed myself um, and always kind of prepared myself to be 
to be in the position to to be a manager to myself. But once he came on board, I mean, to be honest with you, he he has a relaxed type of management style. Like he's not like, you know, hey, we need to do this song and then come in to make me do the song or nothing like that. He's just like, hey, what's some things y'all want to do? And we all we talk every day, like the whole team, Cloud 1100. We talk every single day on FaceTime. I was just on a phone call with them before I uh, got on the phone with you. And we talk about the goals, what we're trying to do over the next couple months. And then every event I've made sure to implement, you know, what was good about the event. What did we like about the event and what could we change about the event? So the reason we do that is so we hold each other accountable. I can honestly say to have one of my best friends as a manager is like ideal. Um, I know that there was a book that was going out and even even uh, who was it? I want to say it was Drake that said that even that your best friend would be somebody that's close to you is somebody that would be a good manager for you because they know your likes. They know your taste, but they also know how to push you outside of your box. So Easy has definitely been able to push me outside of the box of what I was comfortable doing and just saying, you know, hey, get out. Let's go do this. Let's go try this. Do a reel. Go shoot something. If you get a haircut today, make sure you do a post, you know, stuff like that. And then actually going to like John Woo's producers corners. And I've been able to have so much more contact after talking with Easy and, and actually letting him, you know, what I'm saying manage me and, and put me in a position to win. As he says, you know, hey, just come over here to Easy. And I'll put you in position to win, bro. So, I mean, it's it's happened. He stayed true. Yeah, man. Easy, definitely a uh, 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 treasure um, for the scene. You know, yeah. I, 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 you know, if you want that DJ, get your show going or your event going, casual event, formal attire event, whatever the event is, day or night. Weekday, weeknight, easy to DJ is your guy. And I'm rooting for him to win that DJ of the Year award. He really Same. works very, very hard for uh, the community. And uh, he, and he puts on the work, man. He's, and he's doing all sorts of things um, to, to, to help the scene out. So, box to easy, man. And uh, wishing him and everybody... Uh, the best for the upcoming award show. Um, so check out Waddle Queen Nostalgia. His EP is out right now. Right uh, now. It's on all the platforms. Uh, go check it out. Follow him on the social media, Facebook, Instagram, Waddle Queen Music. Mm-hmm. And uh, he'll keep you posted on upcoming events and new or old music he's going to be putting out. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Wallow, man, I've had you on the show numerous times. It's always good chatting with you and keeping up with you on some things, keeping me on the loop on some yeah. things. Because, you know, I I be I try to be everywhere sometimes. And, you know, I, I literally try to be. You, you, you do be everywhere, dog. You be at every <laughs> event for real. Speaking of, Saturday, Easy's at Creole's. So y'all should pop out. Oh yeah, for sure, man. Um, so check that out for sure. Speaking of Al's bar, I'm about to head there. Um, because there's a hip hop show going there on. There is. Um, in honor of Vegas Posada and Lee Carter. Um, oh yeah. So Shout familiar. out to them. So yeah, RIP to them both. Um, yes. Great chatting with you, uh, Wallow. Continue success and everything, and uh. You know, we'll, we see each other from time to time. And I'm pretty sure we'll cross paths again uh, in the foreseeable future. Uh, thanks again, man. Definitely, man. Thank you. And have a great one. Uh, you too. All right. Bye. All right.